Need an easy way to figure out how long your next hike is going to take? Look no further than Naismith's rule. The rule is a bit long in the tooth. Naismith came up with it in 1892, but it stuck around because it's quick, easy, and usually good enough. But before we dive into his rule, who the heck is this Naismith guy? William Wilson Naismith, born in 1856, was a legendary Scottish mountaineer and one of the founding members of the Scottish Mountaineering Club, which is still active today. He was bagging peaks as a child and getting routes named after him as an adult, so this guy was the real deal. But he's best known for his namesake rule of thumb that estimates how long a hike will take. So what is this glorious piece of 19th century wisdom? As he stated it, your hike will take, quote, an hour for every three miles on the map with an additional hour for every 2,000 feet of ascent. To use this rule, you only need two simple things, hiking distance and how much height you'll gain in elevation, both of which you can easily get from hike mapping apps like All Trails. All right, let's get mathy. To get your total hiking time T, divide the horizontal distance D in miles by three, divide the vertical ascent H in feet by 2,000, and add them together. It works in metric too. Just use kilometers and meters and divide by five and 600 respectively. For this video, we'll stick with freedom units. Let's take an example from a hike I did in Austria. The hike was 8.3 miles long with 3,107 feet of elevation gain. That gives us 2.77 hours for the horizontal distance and 1.55 hours for the vertical climb leading to a prediction of 4.32 hours or about 4 hours and 19 minutes. Easy enough, right? So what's the catch? The catch is that this assumes everything is normal. You're fit enough, the terrain is manageable, the conditions are fine, you're not stopping to take a bunch of videos for your mediocre YouTube channel. In short, there's probably a whole bunch of reasons why the numbers that worked for Super Chad Mountain Man Naismith won't work for you. The fix? Personalize it. Naismith's rule uses a walking speed on flat terrain of 3 miles per hour, but let's generalize that as V. It uses a rate of ascent of 2,000 feet per hour, but let's call that R. You can set V and R to whatever numbers work for you. In my case, I compared Naismith's rule to a bunch of my actual hiking times and noticed it was generally 15% or so faster than my actual times. Playing around with V and R, I found that I got much better predictions by adjusting my walking speed to 2.5 miles per hour while keeping the ascent rate at 2,000 feet per hour. Using this personalized formula for the same hike, 8.3 miles with 3,107 feet of vertical gain, I got 3.32 hours for the horizontal component, 1.55 hours for the vertical, and a total predicted time of 4.87 hours, or 4 hours and 52 minutes. How do the predictions compare to reality? My actual time was 4 hours and 54 minutes. Naismith's rule predicted 4 hours and 19 minutes, so it was 35 minutes shorter, or 13% faster than my actual time. But when I adjusted the horizontal speed from 3 miles per hour to 2.5 miles per hour, the predicted time was just 2 minutes faster, or 1% off. If you don't have any data to compare against, you can just start with Naismith's original rule. Go on a few hikes, note your times, and tweak it from there. So the next time you're planning a hike, give Naismith's rule a shot and see if a 19th century hack works on your 21st century hike. Who knows? Your great-great-great-grandpa's trick still might just beat that fancy hiking app in your pocket. Subscribe for more camping tips and tricks and yes, more camp math too.